about the pain that painkillers can relieve. Nor the pain in the fairy tales that can relieve. I'm talking about the pain that stays. The pain you won't let go. That in case it goes away, it makes you scared. Because you're afraid that if that pain goes away, so does your purpose. As well as the memories of them that cause this pain. Memories of them that drain you drop by drop, making you hollow deep inside. Even if someone convinces you of the existence of reincarnation, you still fear death. Not as a process, not for the pain you feel, not from the loss of yourself. You're afraid of death and relief. You fear the possibility of going back in a form that has forgotten its sole reason for existence. Revenge. Good evening, Dr. Miller. Good evening, Jacob. Sorry to bother you so late, but it is important to come directly to the hospital. Is... is everything okay? Did something happen to Claire? I would prefer to inform you up close, but I don't have good news, unfortunately. Okay, I'll be there as soon as possible.
not the time. I need to go upstairs. I wonder why Dr. Miller needs me. Come in. Mr. Helton, please come in. Hello, doctor. Please, Jacob, have a seat. Is... is everything okay? Did something happen to Claire? A couple of hours ago, the nurse went to her room for her scheduled treatment, but your wife wasn't there. What do you mean she wasn't there? We looked for her in the entire hospital, but we couldn't find her anywhere. Later on, a patient from the other room saw her leaving with two men. Why are you wasting time then? We need to call the police. I don't believe that is a good idea. Who are you? It does not matter who I am, Mr. Helton. What matters is that the men who kidnapped your wife cannot be handled by the police. Kidnapped? Do you have anything to do with this? I... I... Explain to me right now what's going on. Come with me, Mr. Helton. I can lead you to her. Tell me right now where my wife is. What have you done to her? I haven't done anything to her, young man. I'm here to help you. Besides, if that was the case, would I come here by myself? Why do you want to help me? Hmm. Let me think. Maybe we have the same feelings for her, or we might have the same hate for those who kidnapped her. It doesn't matter. Pick which version makes you feel better. It's up to you. Do you think this is funny? Answer me now. Blah, blah, blah. This is a chatty one. Young man, the situation demands more than words. I acknowledge that you have many questions. We can stay here and answer them all, one by one, or we can haste and help your wife. Fuck, wait for me. Your questions will be answered in time, young man. Get in. We need to hurry up.
not realize it soon. She told me so many things about me. I can imagine these things. You see, my relationship with my daughter is different. Let's say she found the way as I act, exaggerated. But deep down inside her, she knew it was all for her protection. Well, look more to your behavior and your protection on this. It's ironic. She left by my side because she felt more secure. I don't understand. She's your daughter. Can you be so calm? We are above the island. Because I know you. Claire is a way to get me. They are not going to hurt her before they can have me. You know who these men are, don't you? Let's say that we have a complicated past. A past where many innocent people lost their lives because of our conflicts. From both sides, very close to people. In order to end these killings, we were forced to sit on the same table. Not to be reconciled, but to make a deal. To keep our families out of this vendetta. Today this deal broke. It's time to pay back. Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, you need to wake up. God, you're alive. We don't have much time. Where are we? Take this. You will need it. I have to go. Take care. What the? General, we have trouble. Fix it. Thank you. 
I need to find the key to open the safe box. Okay.
lot. 